Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where I like to share any and all things that bring me joy, hence the name Sherry Lation. Today I wanted to do a deep dive into my latest Goyar purchase. This is actually my fourth bag from the, the brand. I've come to really love this brand because of just the casualness of their style. It's very easy to use. Um, depending on co what color you get, I have basically all the neutrals now from the black to the navy blue to the white and now the newest one is the gray. I feel like it matches everything I wear and it's very uh, useful for like a day-to-day -day bag that you want to use uh, going to work, running errands, going shopping and whatnot. Um, so I wanted to do a deep dive into this particular bag today because I wanted to show you what fits and how much the bag weighs uh, with and without things in it. So right now I've been using this um, for the past couple of days and it is packed full. So I wanted to show you what fits what I've been using inside and then we'll weigh it before we take everything out and showing how much the bag weighs when it's empty. So you see here, this is the Belvedere in PM size. There is an MM, but I have the smaller one in the PM size. Um, there is no zipper for, no hardware in terms of the zipper on this bag. So the back has a fairly generous back pocket. You can see I have a phone there, which tucks quite nicely in here. This is an iPhone 13, just the, the regular size, not the Pro Max. Sorry, not the Max size. Um, so a phone fits quite nicely in here, and you can see I can take it in and out very easily and just slip it back in. I would warn you that if you have cases that are a little bulky in the back you know sometimes you have a little more protection or you may have something stuck on the back like a, an additional like uh like a card holder some people have that it may it may be a little bit thicker so it will it will be a bit of a struggle to put the phone in so you can see mine is very slim and the other thing to warn you about if you have those kind of silicone cases where um it's not as smooth because it's a little bit rubbery it will be a little difficult to put this in and out of the bag as well. So you can see mine is completely like that clear plastic. And so it, it fits in nicely as well. So just to call that out. Okay, and you see the bag here. The only hardware is actually over here in the front buckle or the, the strap where you uh, open and close the bag. And you have some hardware here where you have the, the adjustable strap as well. That's really it. Uh, so let's open the bag. I actually have the bag in the second to shortest setting. I've been using it crossbody. I like this feature here that you can have the strap kind of tucked very nicely so it's not slinging back and forth, but you have various options. I believe it's six holes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I stand correct at seven different hole settings. So I have it to the second shortest setting and I'm about 5'4 and when I carry this cross body the top of the bag is kind of near my belly button area. Um, so when you open the bag I tend to you can technically just slip the the leather piece up like this to open it but I kind of worry you see the stitching up here I kind of worry if you do it too, too much, the stitching might come loose. So I'm trying to be very good about it from the beginning. And when I open the bag, I would, you know, the bag is on me. So I'm kind of looking at it downward from this side. I would use my finger and try to hold the, the top part here where the stitching is and just kind of only stretch out the leather piece. So my thumb is held here and I'm opening the flap like this. So hopefully this kind of helps protect the stitching a little bit more and it won't come undone. I'm sure if it does get to that, Goyard may may repair it and, and um, fix it for you, but I haven't ever come across any of my Goyard bags needing any kind of fix or uh, any, any quality issues because I haven't had them long enough uh, but I, I think their quality is still quite amazing. So when you open the bag, you take the leather piece out like this, and then you just simply open it. So you can see here in the inside of the bag, I have it fully packed right now. Again, no hardware. There's no zippers or anything like that. 
So what I've been doing is using the front two pockets to put my Chanel card holder, which I use for my kind of essential credit cards where that I use most often. My driver's license is in the middle pocket here and I have two other credit cards in the back. It fits very nicely in the pocket here. And I use this Hermes Bastia just to put some coins and cash in it. I usually fold my bills in half and just stick it in there. It does kind of curl down if you have too much, but it does the job. I have some coins there, so I use this to carry my cash. And you can see here a mini pochette fits quite nicely in here. I have this, well, let's take the back piece out. So I have this Hermes uh, kind of card holder or envelope style where I keep my less frequently used cards in here. So I fit about like a good 10 cards or so in here. It's very slim, so it fits nicely. I can probably, let's see if it does that. I can technically fit it in the back slip pocket, but you can see it sticks out. But because the flap, like when you close it like this, it will still it will still work because it's kind of sitting at the top uh, part of the bag. So technically I could tuck it in the back, but I have this in here and I have a mini pochette uh, as well as my car keys. So that's, that's about it. But in my mini pochette, I do have it fairly full inside. Uh, I, it is, you know, it's not packed really, really full, but it's, you know, fairly, um, fairly filled up. So inside I have, a sunscreen, a lip balm, just a couple of tissues left in this little packet. So I think there's probably like three tissues, some band-aids, a wipe. So these are very, very slim. Two other lip products, this Chanel lip balm and my um, Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the, uh, in the color uh, Pillow Talk, I suddenly forgot. I have some eye drops for my contacts, a hair tie, and you just see like some uh, some allergy medicine and headache medicine in the back. So this all fits very nicely in the in the mini pochette, and I just I just really just dump it all in, and because the tissues are so few, I just tuck it in here as well. So it all fits very nicely. Um, I just realized I forgot to weigh it before I, I emptied the bag. So actually, let's let's empty it and weigh the bag. So this is completely empty right now. Nothing in inside the bag, and I'll take the phone out as well. And I have my scale next to me. Let's tuck the strap inside. Okay, and when we weigh the bag here, completely empty. It is 13.6 ounces or 0.39 kg. So this is completely empty. There's nothing more you can really reduce in terms of um, the weight of the bag because I mean, you're gonna need the strap. Although the strap can be completely removed, you can see it's kind of uh, threaded through these loops here. And you can, I mean, I guess you can replace the strap, but I, I don't know what you would replace it with, but just letting you know that you can take the strap off and and you know change it or repair it or uh, get a new strap or if something happens to it. But that's the weight of the bag completely empty. Let's fill it again. And I'll also show you, sometimes I put a little bit more in here and I wanna show you that it does fit as well. So just gonna pack it back up. I'll put the phone back in the back pocket. And what I do use sometimes is my sunglasses wipe, which I have in a soft pouch. It lays very nicely on top. It would, would not even squish it because the bag is somewhat structured because of the shape here. It will lay nicely on top and very easy to get to. Um, I can probably fit a new pack of tissues. I just get these from Daiso. It, you can see it's very slim, uh, maybe a little thicker than a regular card holder. I can tuck this in the back pocket over here if I really need to. Because the tissues are so soft, it's, you know, it really shouldn't harm the bag. But you can see it kind of bulges out a little bit now, you see here, because of the tissues. 
Um, and sometimes I carry this very compact, um, uh, those reusable bags, and it's very soft and pliable. So you can literally just lay it on top here. And when I close the bag, now closing the bag takes a little bit of getting used to, I'll have to be honest. So when the bag is on me again on the side, I have to fold up, you, you thread this leather piece through. Now, if you want it to be very quick and easy, you can just thread it through and sometimes it tucks underneath the, the, the bottom piece of the flap. It is a little easier to do it this way, but if you really wanna do it properly, what I have to do is kind of use my hand, one hand, I usually do it with my left hand, my left hand holding the bag down, mainly the bottom part of the flap over here, and then threading it through. So using, still using this thumb and protecting the stitching and then threading it through like this, like that. So then this piece, by holding this piece down, it will help you get the leather piece through to um, through the hardware a little easier. So it takes some getting used to. It is technically a two-handed procedure because you need to hold it down and then thread it through. But if, if when you're carrying the bag crossbody, you can be hands-free. Now, if you're just carrying it as a shoulder strap, um, sorry, like a shoulder bag on one side, you can, but you probably need to really weigh your pros and cons, how you wanna close it. So if you do it just with one hand, you can technically push it down like that. And then I would still wanna protect the stitching and just use the, the loop like this, hold, hold the piece down and just thread it through. But you can see in that case, I'm threading it through just one end of it and it's coming out under the flap. It's still secure. You see, it won't really come out unless I really, really pull at it, but it will do the job. So let's try this again. And I'm putting it through with one hand. In this case, I'm not even using, I'm not pressing it down, but you see what I mean. It will, it will be fairly secure. Of course, it will be more secure through um, done properly, but if you're really in a pinch and you really need to close the bag, that's the way to do it. Now let's weigh the bag with everything in it, including the sunglasses, the tissues, and that reusable bag. Now, in terms of the weight in kg, sorry. okay, now it comes to 1.19 kg or two pounds, 9.8 ounces. And of course it depends how much you carry, what you put in the bag, but this is really, really the fullest that I would pack it and really the fullest you can pack it. You can see it's it's really full and it's it's packed all the way to the top. Um, otherwise, I would probably, you know, just leave it at that and just put my sunglasses in here like this. And if I really needed the reusable bag, I mean, this is pretty weightless. I mean, it it that's really the, the most. So that's really what I, what I wanted to show you there. If you have any questions about the bag, what fits or any other feature, I think I covered it very thoroughly, but feel free to leave me a comment down below. I'd love to have a conversation with you there. Stay happy and healthy, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Thanks, bye.